Howdy folks, Spencer here, and today in part two of the Lifeforms Guide, I want to take a look at the technologies of the Lifeforms expansion. Um, I am going to skip over buildings and jump straight into technologies here because I think that technologies are really the, the thing that are going to determine which Lifeforms race you go and pick and what type of investment you are going to put into this content because the technologies are really where the majority of the boost from the life forms expansion come from. There are some buildings, you know, that do have unique effects that you may want to invest into. There are some that boost production, but at the end of the day, when you sit down and look at the numbers, the majority of the boosts are really with the, uh, the tech tree. So to make this process easier, I have put together a spreadsheet. This is a much improved version of the spreadsheet that I had shown off in my initial Lifeforms guide video. And I have this up on Google Drive, so you can go and uh, hit the file button to make a copy of it if you wanna mess around with it on your own. And what you can do with this is you can go through, take a look at the different technologies and see which ones you want to put in each slot. And you can see what it would cost you to get that to a certain level. And you can see what boost you would get from it. Now, I do have some of the total boost already calculated at the top, specifically just those for resource production. Um, I didn't have time to, to go in and also include like the potential boost for expeditions, like to, to add those all up. But I think you'll be able to figure that out in the, the bottom section here. So let me just really explain the spreadsheet so you understand what's going on. At the very top here, you're going to see this area to insert your info. The first one here is a, going to let you choose your race that you're putting on your planet. And in my case, I'm going to put rock tall on my planets. So, you know, I went through and I selected rock tall. And what this is going to do is it's going to tell you how many of the technologies that you have slotted are aligning with the race that you chose. Um, for those of you that watched the first part of this Lifeforms Guide series, you will remember that the tech tree can be a bit rough if you want to pick something that your race doesn't have access to. Uh, there's a bit of an RNG element to it. I don't remember if I showed that in this video. Yeah, here I did. So when you go through to reset a tech tree, there's this, you can either pick directly the technology from the life forms ratio I've slotted on your planet, or you can hit a random button to randomly get a technology from another race. In the future, they are wanting to add in a way where you could like have a 100% chance to pick a different technology from a different lifeforms race on your planet. But they were talking about that two months ago and it still hasn't even hit the, the test universe yet. So uh, that's not coming anytime soon, it looks like. So really, it's, it's very important for you to make sure that whatever rate, like lifeforms race you're putting on your planet, that you have as many techs as possible coming from that race so that you have a easier time getting your technology set up. Because if you go and pick human, for example, or, or let's say you pick Kalesh and you go out and you try to get this tech tree that I have here where I'm trying to maximize uh, the, the mining boost, then only two of these technologies on this specific tree come from Kalesh. So you are going to be doing a roll with a 25% chance for each of the other 16 slots to get the specific technology that you want. And you can freely re-roll every couple days or every couple weeks, but it's going to take you a very long time to, to go through and get lucky on all of those rolls, especially considering that you have to do this per planet. So I'm going to set this back to rock tall. After the rock tall box here, you see that there's a thing for race level. Uh, if you continue to scan for life forms races, you can find uh, the races you already have unlocked. You can find them again. And as you find them more and more, you will increase their level. By increasing their level, you will increase the tech boost you get from all technologies 
slotted on a planet that 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 life form is on. So if I have level 10 in uh, the, or if I have my rock tall race at level 10, then I'm getting a 10% boost to all technologies that I have slotted on a planet where the rock tall is the race. And even if the technologies are not from the rock talls. So continuing to scan for, for life forms is very important if you want to uh, further the boost that you get. Then down here, uh, right under that, I have the tech discount. Um, this is going to be fairly easy to get at least 5% in. The Each of the life forms races has a building that does the exact same thing. It's the third building. And it is basically the research lab for the life forms technologies. Um, unlike traditional research labs, the life forms research buildings, they, there's four of them that all do the same thing, different names, but they're the third building on each life form. And as soon as you get level one, you, that's all you need to do to unlock the, the tech tree. The, the thing that increases your capability to move further in the tech tree is increasing your population and then increasing the tier two, tier three population, which I talked about in this uh, life forms guide before. Um, but getting this research building up to a higher level will reduce the cost of life forms technology and increase the speed of the life forms technology uh, researches. So you will reduce the cost and make him go faster by leveling these buildings up for the rock tall getting to level 15 is quite easy. And I think it's like a half percent discount for each level you get. So if you could get to level 20, that would be a 10% discount on any life forms technology you do on that planet. If you're looking to invest heavily in the life forms technology, it's probably going to be worth getting this up to a high level at least 15 to 20 because over time that you know five to ten percent discount you're getting is going to really add up and impact the the overall amount that you're spending on these technologies so let's say i have um, for for right now i'm just going to say that i have zero percent discount just to, to show the base cost here um and then some of the races do have buildings that will enhance the technologies also Humans have a building that will let you increase the boost from technologies, as do the Mecha. The Mechas actually have two buildings, and I don't recall if the Kalesh do. Let me check here. Doesn't look like it. Okay. So Mechas and humans have buildings that both uh, give you that tech bonus, and if you do have a tech bonus, you would just insert that in this fourth uh, slot up here. And then the last one here is how many buildings you have or how many planets you have. So how many planets do you want to calculate for? Because the top section of this spreadsheet here is looking at the cost for a single planet. And then whatever value you put in this box is going to be used to factor what the total is for your empire. And this area down here on the spreadsheet is going to tell you the total cost and the total boost that you're getting from whatever technologies you chose at whatever level you chose. So the only things on this spreadsheet that you should be changing are going to be these uh, like tan cells here on the first sheet. These are the only ones you should change. If you change any others, you could end up bricking something. So just be careful. If you do end up bricking it and you need to make a new copy, you could just go right back to the one linked in the description below, go to file, make a copy, and you can get a fresh copy. So when it comes to the, the left set of tan items here, this is like, this is how you pick the different technologies you would want to slot. And I have this set to pick by race in each slot. Now, if you need a reference point to see what exactly the, the technologies are for each slot, then there's a sheet at the bottom called Lifeforms Data Sheet. And you can scroll through and look for 
uh, each slot here, which I have listed, and you can look for the the different technologies. You can see their description. You can see the base cost that they have, the the bonus that they have. This this is all taken from the raw sheet that the developers had posted, and then I just modified it to uh, make it compatible with the spreadsheet that I set up. So if you just want to get an idea of what's available in each slot, then this this uh, this tab of the spreadsheet would be good for that. So if you also want to follow like some baseline ideas for some different tech trees, there's this picture here that I have included on the spreadsheet. I don't know who made this, but I have seen it around the O game discord a ton. Uh, again, I, I've got it noted here. I don't know who made it, but it's really useful. So I included it here and you can go and configure your tech tree to match these to see, you know, what the different trees are like. Like there's one here for a full fleeter setup, uh, discover that is focused on fleeting as a secondary role, uh, discover with a secondary mining focus, a fleeter with a mining focus, and then a full on miner. So you can go through and take a look at these different things to get an idea of what you want to do. Um, but I have it set up here just with the, the full minor setup for now. Um, and if you want to change it, all you have to do is literally each of these that you want to change, you would just hit the drop down and change the technology. Uh, and that's all you have to do to, to you know, change the, uh, the tech tree around is just go through each of the drop downs and select the technology or select the, the race you want in that slot. And then as soon as you do that, it will update with what the technology is. And then it'll give you a short description of the boost from that uh, technology. And then over to the right, you see that there's a level and this is where you can change the level that you would want to build it to. So let's say that the first one I have here, the catalyzer technology from Mecca's that gives a deuterium production boost. So I currently have it set to level 10, but what would it cost if I wanted to take it up to level 15? I can just enter 15 and it's automatically updated and it will tell me the metal cost, the crystal cost, the, the deuterium cost, and just as a helpful tool, I also have an MSU conversion here. MSU is metal standard units. It is basically all of the, the cost converted over to, over to metal at a three to one rate. That just provides a really simple way to see the total cost of something to me. And then over at the right is the base boost. So in this case for deuterium production from the catalyzer technology, it's a 0.08% boost per level. So with 15 levels of this technology on a planet, that is a 1.2% deuterium boost. Now you can go through and do this for each of the technologies that you want to, you know, go around and set to see what the cost is going to be, to see what the boost is going to be. And if you want to see the final result, that's where you would scroll down to the total for empire part at the bottom of the spreadsheet here. And this will tell you the total cost to get that level of that technology on all 15 of your planets or whatever number you set it to. I've got it set to 15 because I've got 15 planets. Um, so if you only had 10 planets, you know, you could change that to only show 10. If you have 20 planets, this will work and let you, you know, enter as many planets as you want. So there, there is no limit to how many planets you enter for these calculations. So here you can see the, that it has given us a total boost. If we scroll over to the right a little bit, we can see the total boost, the total level, and we can see a longer description of what the technology does. And at the bottom here, you're going to see also that I have a total for how much it would cost in metal, crystal, deuterium, and MSU, that metal standard unit. Uh, for all of the technologies that I have chosen here. Now, 
for those of you that are interested specifically in looking at production boost, I do have some calculations up here at the top that will tell you the exact amount it would cost you to, or I'm sorry, the, the exact benefit you would be getting from the technologies for your metal production, crystal production, and deuterium production. Um, I wanted to include more, but I just didn't have time. Uh, if someone wants to make a copy of this and you don't make any improvements on your own, you know, feel free to do so. Um, but let me, let me show the, the flexibility that you have with the spreadsheet. So let's say I want to, to change over to a different, uh, play style, you know, just to, to see, or just change a couple of these technologies around to see the boost that I would get from them. Let's say that I want to boost up battle cruisers because I have a large battle cruiser fleet and I want to see how far I could boost them with the technologies here. So I would choose the two technologies that are boosting battle cruisers, which again, I could find over in the lifeforms data sheet. I could look through here and see which technologies are boosting battle cruisers, destroyers, whatever ship you're looking for. And then you would go back to the life, uh, life forms tech cost tab here and select those in the, uh, drop down here. And let's say I want to invest heavily in those. So I want to take them to level, let's say level, level 12. That's a bit expensive. Trying to, trying to find a, something that'd be fairly reasonable price wise. So level 11 on the mecha one and then level 10 on the human one. I can then scroll down and see what the cost of that would be for all of my planets. So I can see that uh, the first one would cost me 11 and a half billion MSU to get up to level 11 on 15 planets. And for the second one, I can see it'd be 13.6 billion MSU to get to level 10 on 15 planets. But I can also go over and see that that would be a 45% boost and a 49.5% boost, and those would stack, meaning that I would be boosting my battle cruisers by 94.5%. So that would be based on their base values here. So if I look at battle cruisers, that would be boosting up the, the base stats of the battle cruiser by that 94.5%. So if I go and take a look at this again, so that'd be 94.5. Me buy this by, or let's just do this. 70,000 times 1.945. So, and then if I add what I get from my research bonus, I would be getting a fairly substantial boost to my battle cruisers by, you know, doing that in level of investment. And by doing that, remember for, for the ships here that that's boosting based off the base values. And that's the same for production. Um, when we talk about the boost from resources or for, from mines, the, the boost you get is going to be based off of the base value from your mines. It's not going to be based on, you know, your final total per hour production. So when I look at the spreadsheet here and see that it's like a 72% boost, that's basically going to be equivalent to if I looked at my main account and pull that up here. If I looked at my main account and I went to my resource settings on a planet tier. So if I, if I was looking at this planet specifically and I was looking at the spreadsheet here and I saw I'm going to be getting a 72.8% boost, that's going to be a, in, like based off this metal mine number up here. So let me go to seven, eight, seven, two, one, seven times one point. 72.8. So that means that I'm going to be getting a boost of uh, 573,000 from 
from just the the life forms boost from metal or to to metal production there which is fairly substantial you know if i if i were to add that up here that would take me over two million um but i think some people have maybe been thinking incorrectly about the boost you're going to get from the life form stuff um that uh, like that the 70 or whatever percent boost you were going to get would be a final boost but it's it's going to be factored in just like any other boost you have it's going to be based on the base value um but i think this pretty much covers most of the stuff on the spreadsheet here uh going back to the the battle cruiser technology i was just talking about um, this is where, too, I could look at, you know, increasing the, the rock tall uh, race here to uh, increase the the boost I'm getting from these technologies. So if I were to, say, get rock tall up to level five, that'd be a 5% boost. And you see that's a fairly sizable jump on the production boost there. And the battle cruisers uh, boost that I had have definitely went up a little bit. And if we look at the total metal cost here, the MSU, you see with everything I have configured here, it's at just under 60 billion metal or MSU. And if I were to get a tech discount of like 10% from the, the research lab building for life forms, you know, that that is a direct 10% discount. So using this tool can be really handy to to go through and help calculate how much you want to spend on things, give you an idea of what type of boost you're going to get from stuff and just help you plan ahead for life forms. Cause for me, for example, uh, my universe still doesn't have life forms that I play on. So I've been saving up resources now for a while. I'm up to, I just did a couple of defense upgrades, but I'm up to like 203 M billion msu just waiting for this expansion to come in and you know i'm just using tools like this to to plan ahead and figure out what exactly i want to do so hopefully this has been pretty explanatory and this tool will allow you to figure things out i do also have the the tech tiers broken down here and then the different population requirements just as a reference point um then of course the specific tech slots and all of this, you know, all of the stuff down here will automatically update as, as you change things around. So, uh, you know, play with this and figure out, you know, what you want to do. And like I said, if you somehow manage to, to break this, uh, spreadsheet, you can just go and hit file, make a copy and you can make another copy. Uh, there are some areas you shouldn't mess with like this, this thing down here at the bottom, I would leave this alone. This is how the, uh, the production boost up top are being calculated and the tech tree tab here. I would recommend you leave this alone. Also, this is doing all of the calculations for the cost of each level. You can go and take a look at it if you want to see what each specific level cost, but the uh, life forms tech cost sheet is using that as a reference to figure out the cost as you change the levels. And it's, it's also doing this sheet is also doing the calculations, um, and indexing from the, the life forms data sheet to see what the cost is under different scenarios and, or w with whatever you pick and all that. And the calculation should be correct. I did double check a few of them with Lone Star X's stuff. Um, the only difference here is on the main page, you can actually factor in tech discounts and get, in, get some info about the boost they provide. But look, I've been talking for a while now. Hopefully you guys can, uh, find some use out of this. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Um, then feel free to share this around. You know, this is a tool that I made to help people out. So hopefully, you know, it can actually, uh, be used and help some people out. But that's going to be it for me. Uh, thank you again to all viewers for the continued support. But that's going to be it for now. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.